Now, Lost Craft. Maybe jumping the gun on this one just a little bit, because we're still over a month away from the official start of summer. But boy, are they ready to pregame. And so am I. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Maple Ruski, from the Rusk Ruski Review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is by the Lost Craft Beer Company out in Toronto, Ontario. We have their one of their new, not super brand new, it's been around for a couple months I want to say, but we have their Summer Session Pills. This is guava and passion fruit. I, mm, I've maybe come across one or two flavored Pilsners, but not in a while. This particular Pilsner is coming in at 4% alcohols by volume, no listed IBUs on the very uh, 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 pinky and greeny can. Not the most ad like adventurous pinks and greens, but the two of them together kind of work. Just in this middle area, it gets a little like gray which I'm not a fan of, but hey, it's, it's still quite interesting. Not overly bright and blinding, uh, so, so I, I'm, I'm fine with that. As for IBUs, nothing on the website, nothing on Untapped, so we, we don't know, but as it being a, a Pilsner, um, you know, you're gonna assume it's not too high up there on the IBU side of things. So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Pouring it into a nondescript pint glass. The same glass that I used uh, for water when I was uh, in Niagara. So, very nice indeed. It's about half the beer or so there. And looking at that, it was a little bit more of an aggressive pour, but nice big off white head on top and a hazy golden yellow color, or more just yellow color, hazy yellow. Have not seen a Pilsner this hazy before and I'm not a fan of Pilsners but I'm very excited because it is Lost, Lost Craft they have really never disappointed me at all and well there's guava and passion fruit in here so let's hope for some tropical vibes on the nose guava and passion fruit are right there on the money moving into a bit of like a, 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 a lemony a lemony citrus aroma almost smells like a uh, kind of like a session IPA tropical vibeness, but without the pine and grapefruit of of, uh, of you know of, of a hoppy uh, hoppy pale ale or session IPA or something like that. Damn, that smells like juice. Not overly sweet though. A little bit of a citrusy hop kick, but no uh, no pine or, or really heavy grapefruit on here. That smells goddamn amazing. Holy shit, let's dive in. Now, I'm gonna tell you one thing. If somebody poured this beer for you and uh, didn't say what, what style of beer it was and you had a sip, you would not think Pilsner. I do not think Pilsner. This is like a, a the closest assimilation that I, that I can make about this beer is a Session IPA with very low IBUs and not a lot of that, you know, traditional pine and grapefruit hoppiness uh, that you do find in those styles of beer. But the tropical portion on here is right up there. That is damn good guava and passion fruit coming in, not too in your face and not too subdued, just a perfect, uh, moderate, yet also a boisterous amount. And God damn, that is smooth and crispy and delicious and I want more. So with that said, guys, cheers everybody. Well, let's keep on drinking. Mm. A little bit of like a, uh, almost like, 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 like a goes, like a goza sort of, um, sort of saltiness to it. It's not really salty, uh, but it's like between salt and tart um, on here, which I find quite, quite enjoyable because it does cut that sweetness out of the fruits uh, in here just enough so it's not too super sweet. 
um, but it's also not dry. I want to say not, not 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 as dry as like some, some IPAs and whatnot. That is a damn good beer. And at four percent, you're getting a lot of flavor. You're getting a lot of flavor indeed. As for mouthfeel, crisp yet smooth. And also, not heavy at all. Not airy or light, but light at the same time. Quite enjoyable. 4% boot, uh, not boozy. 4% uh, great amount of flavor uh, on this and really solid flavor indeed. Lost Craft Summer Session Pills. Like I said, 4% ABV, so you can definitely pound these back and enjoy all the beautiful flavors. Description on here. Summer Session Pills is a small batch brewed, all natural, light pilsner infused with real passion fruit and guava. Based in Toronto, Canada, Lost Craft embraces diversity and is committed to being active in the communities where we operate. Find your craft. On the side here, uh, contains barley, and on the bottom, canned on date of 020421. I'm gonna guess the 2nd of April. 2021 rather than the uh, 4th of February but either way fairly fresh beer that mm, that passion fruit and guava slightly tart saltiness to it as well it's just whoa and it finishes fairly clean just a nice underlying guava -iness to it guava can sometimes be gritty this is not gritty at all, which I really do enjoy. But damn, damn, as a summer beer? Oh, oh baby, oh baby, Lost Craft has you covered. Covered in refreshment, covered in flavor, covered in delicious, beery goodness. And at a low 4%, but does not taste like it? Sign me up. Please sign me up and, and I need more. Damn, that was delicious. Website, lostcraft.ca. Go to the Beer Insider section. They got a bunch of stuff going on, and you will find these Summer Session pills. When you click at those, it says taxes and deposits included in price. There is no price. There is no information. You just get a picture of the, of the solid-looking can here and links to, to Facebook tweeting and pinning it on Pinterest. No information which is very funny because there's a big old white space on the far right side here which can definitely uh, fit more than enough information more than the can has so I find that a little odd but uh, from what I remember I think the last time I did Lost Craft they did not have really like a beer page so I like that so it, things are changing things are getting a little bit better but not as a uh, not you know not perfect by any means on the information side. Moving over to Untapped, though, Guava Summer Session Pills has been given to 3.51 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 431 ratings. Seems a little low in my opinion, but hey, <clears throat> everybody's entitled to it. Now, as for the price of this brew, 325. 325 seems to be, again, I want to say, I want to reiterate, seems to be about that, you know, average uh, cost. Some beers actually are seeming to cost a little bit more now, but it's just fine. 325 for a tall can, though, cannot complain. I mean, you get 473 mils of absolute goodness uh, for, for your face hole and for your taste buds and for really any time of the day. Uh, so you really can't complain. Overall, I love this beer. It's tropical, it's light, it's effervescent, it's flavorful. And it's low ABV. I sometimes people people give a lot of shit. I think sometimes, or at least I, I used to personally give a lot of shit to sub five percent beers. But as the years go by, and sometimes you got shit to do the next day, and you don't really, but you really want a few beers uh, because one just won't suffice. Four uh, percent solid stuff. But when you have a four percent beer, or something like that, you gotta make sure the flavor delivers. And Lost Craft Summer Session. Summer Session Pills, for that matter, absolutely delivers. So with that said, guys, cheers in the final sip. Let's get ready to rings and wrap this thing up. Lost Craft Summer Session Pills. 
I will be buying more of this. More of this indeed. If I could get a case of this, I would do that because it is it is absolutely flavorful. You can drink a lot of them or you know more than just one or two of them without one feeling absolutely hammered, two without getting sick of the flavor, and three you just you just really want to grab another ice cold like ice cold can of this. It, it's beautiful. The balance is all there. The flavors are all there. The intensity is there without being crazy. And damn, it is it is it is beautifully priced. I don't know what much more else to say about this brew, but Lost Craft Summer Session Pills gets a solid nine six out of ten for me because goddamn, it checks almost every single box. If it was cheaper, it would get a little bit of better score, but I understand running and operating a brewery is hard, hard work, and with the new tax increases by the federal government, which we all love, uh, yeah, well, uh, ooh, beer taxes suck. Doesn't matter if you're the consumer or the manufacturer, they absolutely suck. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, that would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Ooh, summer's coming and we're still in lockdown and that kind of fucking sucks. But hopefully when this video's uploaded, we can go play around the golf or go on a patio. Not be stuck in our homes bored. Cheers.